Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we are back, back like, like we, we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for tuning in and pulling up for another video. Yeah, we're going to be jumping into this one with Awaken with JP. Yeah. This one came out about two days ago. Uh, so it looks like he's going to be reporting the fake news again. <laughs> Shocking Biden allegations. Nothing to see here. <laughs> so, I mean, y'all know how this goes in regards to JP. If y'all have tuned in to him more than once, then y'all kind of know possibly what to expect or, or, or what or where he's going with this yeah you know yeah so i can't wait to see i can't wait to check it out to yeah. see all right make sure y'all like comment and subscribe join the channel and let's go ahead and get into it he said nothing to see here huh <laughs> good evening sheep our top stories tonight biden falls off his bike sheep <laughs> Damn, he just came straight out the gate. He said, y'all sheep. The, look at the news channel. We lie to you news. We lie to you news because y'all are sheep and, and, and y'all will believe anything. Good evening, okay. sheep. Our top stories tonight. Biden falls off his bike, which is not hilarious. Transgender athletes are now banned from women swimming. The Clinton body count goes up. Shocker. <laughs> Stephen Colbert's staff breaches. The Clinton body count goes That's up. That's what he said. No way. Hold oh on. Oh, my God. Not. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get into this. We gotta get into this. Women swimming, the Clinton body count goes up. Shocker. Stephen Colbert's staff <laughs> breaches the Capitol, and Biden's daughter's diary contains shocking accusations against him. What's uh -oh. it say? Uh -oh. Stay tuned to find out. But first, we're proud to be building back better than ever now that the stock market is crashing, <laughs> crypto shirt. is crashing, gas prices are through the roof. Food. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the shirt that he got on. I cannot. I cannot with him. <laughs> yeah. He is playing the part perfectly. But the oh. stock market is crashing. Crypto is crashing. Gas prices are through the roof. Food shortages, record high inflation, and rising interest rates. As we are now in a recession, President Brandon reassures us that we are not heading into a recession. In other news, we don't know what the term gaslighting means. And happy Father's Day from this past weekend. President Biden celebrated Father's Day by falling off his bike while he was standing still. Ah! What an athlete. Let's see that again. Looks like Putin did it. And we have received early word. They are so wrong. He had to do that twice. Y'all. Yeah. JP, hey, he had to go there, y'all. He had to go there. Ah, uh, I remember that. He did. He what was he doing? Like, was he trying to put his foot down? It looked like he was trying to get his foot off the pedal. He was trying to get his foot in, but I'm used to people falling off. You fall off the bike, you know, when it's moving. Yeah. You know, like my daughter, like she was like six or seven when she fell off the bike when it was like standing at a standstill. So it's just like kind of, it's kind of shocking to see that. <laughs> huh? that and, and fall all the way down. He fell all the way down, not just like a stumble, but he fell all the way down. Babe. I'm not trying to be that funny. You, you right? stop. You right? You good? <laughs> yeah. Looks like Putin did it. And we have received early word that the X Games will be featuring a new extreme sporting event this year called Standing Up, <laughs> as it is a significant challenge for even the fully mentally and physically competent leader of the free world. And in honor of Father's Day, as Hunter's dad is obviously one of the greatest fathers in the world, a powerful example that you can learn from of how he lovingly fathers his crack addict son that he raised is how he used his personal secret police force, the FBI, to try to hide the existence of his son's laptop that allegedly contained highly incriminating information. Another great example of his fathering is how he used the Secret Service to intervene with Hunter's gun as Hunter had committed a felony when he lied on the firearms application. But an even more impressive example of his fathering is how he used the FBI to read the homes of two Project Veritas journalists while trying to obtain a diary written by his daughter, Ashley, which contained highly... Oh, you know, this stuff sounds like it came out of Scandal. Like, literally, like, this is like stuff you would see on the, on the, on the episodes show. of Scandal where... <laughs> where Olivia goes and she's like, uh, you know, the, the people who went out to take care of all her dirty work for her. That's what's going on here. This is what is, this, this is what it sounds like. They need someone to take like. care of the laptop. 
Go and confiscate the laptop. Make sure none of this gets out. We gotta make sure that it gets burned. <laughs> we need you to clear this out. What I forgot his name. Hulk. 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 Whatever his name was. Yeah. Trying to get trying trying to get rid of all the scandals and all, all the little juicy stuff that's right. going on. To hack into all the all the little data and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The incriminating accusations against her father, which is your president. <laughs> For more on this endearing act of fathering, we'll throw it over to Tucker Carlson. So why were the FBI coming to the homes of employees at Project Veritas? What did they do? Were they involved in a human smuggling ring? Were they bringing fentanyl in from China and killing more Americans? No. The FBI believed that Project Veritas was in possession of or had information about a diary written by Joe Biden's daughter, Ashley Biden. I never heard the about FBI that. claimed that diary had been stolen. We now know the FBI knew that diary had not been stolen, and it wasn't. But as James O'Keefe pointed out at the time, and didn't have enough people hear him when he said it, what if it was stolen? Having a stolen diary is not a federal crime. So what in that diary was so important that Joe Biden sent FBI agents to get it back? Here's what O'Keefe said. The tipsters indicated that the diary included explosive allegations against then-candidate Joe Biden. I don't see anything wrong with any of that, and neither should you. But what are the shocking accusations that Ashley Biden wrote in her own diary against her father? Well, nothing disturbing if you don't have a soul. So let's find out more from Tucker Carlson. What's in the diary? And now we know what's in the diary, thanks to a new piece in the Daily News, which what? has a copy of the diary. Oh, Josh no Boswell way. is a reporter there at the Daily Mail. He broke this story, and he joins us with the answer. Hi, Tucker. Josh, thanks so much for coming on. What is this about? So... We've looked at the diary. Um, we've spent a, a lot of time considering carefully what to report from it. And um, what we've chosen to report are some pretty serious things that Ashley, the president's daughter, wrote. She wrote that she was musing over whether her father was sexually inappropriate with her when she was a little girl. She mentions in the diary showers with her dad. Um, she also talks about them being probably not appropriate. Um, she writes that down on one page in her diary. And she also refers to being hypersexualized at a young age. Uh, there's you are lying. I ain't never heard about none of this, so I don't know. I, I never what? heard about none of this. Okay, okay. Okay, this is the media re reporting. <laughs> I have to take Project a deep breath. Like, I was like, wow, 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 wow. This is what the media is reporting. Wait, what? What? That would be very, very shocking. Why would she even still, like, have that in, like... In possession of her. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why, that's why, why I'm Why like, would you oh. have that for somebody to steal it, is my point. Right, like, right. And then, from that, it gets circulated, and then, next thing you know, it's, it's somebody else's, in, in somebody else's hands, oh, you know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. Man, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. I never heard anything about I this I would stuff. be curious to know when this diary was written. Like, why would she be writing about that? Like... As an adult, I guess you could say. Yeah. And she also refers to being hypersexualized at a young age. There's a lot of references in the diary to her um, repeated uh, spells in, in uh, rehab, her um, relapses with drug abuse, alcohol, and sex addiction as well. Just sounds like good fathering. And I do wonder why Biden is such a fan of sexualized drag shows for children. But some critics suggest that those shows for children are wrong and that those same drag queens should follow Biden's example and stop dancing for children for God's sakes and just start showering with them instead. In other news, a former Clinton advisor named Mark Middleton has been found yeah. hanging in a tree with a gunshot blast to his chest. His death has obviously been ruled a suicide, which means yet another person heavily linked to the Clintons has unfortunately committed suicide. That's what he was talking about in regards to the body count earlier. Oh, oh. Isn't there At the like, very beginning. Uh, uh, I don't know anything about that. No, there's like a... I forgot how many. There's like a really, really high number of people who have who have ended their lives that worked under the Clinton administration. It's like, it's some huge number. I want to say, for some reason, in my head, I hear like 11. 
but I think it, yeah, it might be fifteen. It might be some crazy large number like that. The people that, that they take they take their own lives, but they were associated with the Clinton administration. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah I never heard about that. And heavily linked to the Clintons has unfortunately committed suicide. Wow, sounds like there's nothing to see here. So let's hear more. After a Freedom of Information Act request, it was discovered that Mr. Middleton admitted Jeffrey Epstein, who is a pedophile, another unfortunate suicide victim, and someone with heavy ties to the Clintons, into the White House on seven different occasions while Clinton was in office. Mark Middleton also had the immense pleasure of flying on Epstein's private jet and is rumored to have been a major player in strengthening Epstein's relationship with Bill Clinton. I think this is nothing but heartwarming to hear because we all know how important friendships are for having a happy life. Yeah, but because sure. Mr. Middleton didn't leave a suicide note, there's unfortunately no explanation for why someone committed suicide on him. And with countless Clinton associates having committed suicide over the years, we would like to thank the Clintons for altruistically spending so much time with vast numbers of suicidal people in what is obviously an attempt to try to help them. And in other news that hasn't been completely scrubbed from the internet for some reason, the original name for the Bill and wow. Melinda Gates Foundation was the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for Population Control. Take a look. 1998, Dr. Zabin became the founding director of the Bill and Melinda Gates Institute for Population Control with a mission to help de developing countries create their own reproductive health policies and programs. Huh. I wonder why they called it that. Moving along. <laughs> wow. You know, I wonder why they called it that. I mean, it's very, very apparent why they called it that. Population control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I mean, Bill Gates, he was the one that was a while back, like he was the one that was going around doing a, a lot of these conferences talking about what, what, was, what, was, what, what was to come in regards to like, Everybody getting sick and things like that. Like yeah. he, he, he was like walking around saying that this was going to happen a while. Oh a, a yeah, ago, I remember so. we were we were watching it on the news when he was talking about the, well the the outbreak mm -hmm. of, of what was you know the potential of that happening and how underprepared we were mm -hmm. for it to happen and so on and so forth. It was almost like That's he was exactly what he said, yep. telling us what was going to happen before it actually happened. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, maybe he just knows. Granted, he's a very smart guy. But he, <laughs> but he knew. They say he, but he knew. He, he knew. Very <laughs> you smart know? guy. Okay. Just hey, saying. hey, you could, hey, that rabbit hole goes very deep. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I wonder why they called it that. <laughs> Moving along. On Sunday, the world's swimming governing body voted to ban transgender athletes from competing in women's competition. With a 71.5% vote in favor of the ban, spokesperson James Pierce said the reason for the ban is, it's what the scientists are saying, that if you transition after the start of puberty, you have an advantage, which is unfair. <laughs> I doubt that. I guess they haven't heard the... Oh, gosh. I bet that was really hard to find out. I bet that was shocking for them to find that oh, out. Oh, my. Wow. Nobody knew that. Yeah. Nobody. That's 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 news to me. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> I doubt that. I guess they haven't heard the latest science that stated there are no biological differences between men and women. Yet, because the non-existent differences are so distinct... Some people will go through drastic hormone therapies and surgeries in order to have more of the biological differences of their chosen sex. Science is so exact sometimes that it's confusing. And with the banning of trans athletes, this marks the end of an exciting time in women's swimming. So to help commemorate the sad ending of the golden era in women's swimming, Let's take a look back down memory lane at some highlights of some of the best biological males to have ever competed in women's swimming yes, while they could. <laughs> How did I not know? How did I not know? Oh, look at him. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. And in other news, 
Former comedian and current communist subverter Stephen Colbert is in some hot water. Nine producers and staff members from his show have been arrested at the Capitol building and charged with unlawful entry. Turns out they were found illegally snooping outside the offices of some GOP Congress members. This means Stephen Colbert's team has breached the Capitol in what objectively looks like an insurrection. But luckily, his team is not expected to be illegally held in solitary confinement for a year and a half, like those dirty right-wing ultra-mega insurrectionists from January 6 were. The difference is that Colbert's staffers unlawfully entered the Capitol building, while some of those right-wing dirty insurrectionists were escorted into the Capitol building by security guards. That's it for tonight's indoctrination. Enjoy the recession. It's a necessary part of the Great Reset. And if you know the Clintons, you better keep your mouth shut. And Biden is father of the year. Oh yeah, and Biden's been accused of rape. Believe all women, but not this one. But Kamala Harris did say she believes all Biden's accusers, but whatever. Good night. <laughs> What's up, my friend? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, I like the satire in this, especially like I said when he started it off when he said, I'm talking to the sheep. Because there, there's, there, there are a lot of like sheeple sheep? out there. Yeah. And, and I like to refer to them as sheeple, people that are sheep. <laughs> and, and, and I like how he puts it out there because it's like, come on now, like, are, are, are y'all that gullible enough to just sit there and just and just digest every single thing that the news media, that all these outlets particularly are going to tell you in regards to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, like, I just like how he put it all out there. It's like, now now it's like, if you if you saw any of this, it's like, okay, well, what, what is that about? Now you can go back and, and go go actually look into it for yourself and maybe like read up on it to, to get more information. Just like he, he was talking about the Clintons or he was talking about Joe Biden, you know, yeah. things of that Ooh, nature. I, do, I definitely would like to know more about that, that the whole diary situation. Stephen I've Colbert. Heard, you haven't heard any, like, a lot about it. Though. I bet you would. Because you, I bet you want to know what's, what, what's in that diary, if, if, if so-called there's a diary out there. I, de- I, I'm, I know you want to know. You want all the juicy details. I mean, like I said, I would just be curious to know when she actually wrote that. Like, how old is that diary for somebody to have? How did they even get access to it? If it's true, like I said, I, 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 heard, I never heard anything about it. But that's what I'm saying. That's Now you're going to have to go... And, and go back and be like, okay, let, let me go see what this is about. But that, you got to you got to know something if if he don't sent the FBI out to get right. it. Right. Yeah. In it was to Project in there. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. He's reporting the news. I don't even know what 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 he said in regards to that is even true. That's why I said you're gonna have to go back and go look at it. That's why I like the video because it's like he's talking and giving this fake news. So now, if if you're smart enough and, and you're more inquisitive enough. In regards to some of the stuff that he kind of talked about, to actually go back and like like look at it and be like, okay, that's what he was talking about, but this yeah. is the actual truth in regards to it. Yeah, that's what I like about the video. Yeah, you know, oh, we're gonna find out. Y'all let us know what y'all, what y'all. What, <laughs> hey, he okay, can, he, I need the plug. Where yeah. I need to go to find the inf- <laughs> to find the information, y'all. Yeah, but 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 I enjoyed it, especially like when he gets to the end and he's like, hey, man, he's doing all that swimming and stuff. Because we just did that video. Yeah. That one is super hilarious. Yeah, it was. It was. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this video. So, if y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash the notification bell. Believe. Join the family. And if ain't nobody else told you, we love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. Y'all be easy. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. Bye. Bye.